Hello, I'm Steve Smith with AICHE's Publications and Communications Department. And I'm here today to host an interview segment for Connected, where chemi chemical engineers mix it up. With us today is S. Shark Yosufzai, who is the Vice President of Global Diversity, Ombuds, and University Affairs for Chevron Corporation. Shark is at the spring meeting to receive the Fuels and Petrochemicals Division's annual award. Shark was also recently the re inaugural recipient of AICHE's Industry Leadership Award. So, Shark, thank you for being here today. Nice to be here, Steve. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Chevron's uh, history of support for AICHE, which has been very generous. Uh, Chevron is a sponsor of this meeting. Uh, it has been heavily involved with our annual galas. And specifically, and most strongly, it's been involved with AICHE student programs, such as Scale Up and the Chemi Car Competition. And sort of what is it about the student programs that interest Chevron, and what, you know, what, is the, uh, what are the reasons that Chevron seems so heavily invested in developing undergraduate chemical engineers? Well, you know, chemical engineers are the backbone of uh, uh, our industry in petrochemicals and refining particularly, but also find uh, employment in other parts of the company, including reservoir engineering, petroleum engineering, um, and uh, our technology department. So we're very, very interested in the professional development of chemical engineers, and we're a platinum sponsor of AICHE. And in fact, our chairman, John Watson, was very pleased to receive the Industry Leadership Award uh, at the AICHE Gala last year and uh, we were recognized for our OEMS, or Operational Excellence Management System. And we find that uh, uh, AICHE's efforts in the area of process safety, for example, project management, really resonate uh, with uh, our recruitment of young engineers. And uh, particularly with the, uh, our platinum sponsorship, uh, you know, scale up, uh, it allows young engineers uh, uh, free membership into AICHE. Mm -hmm. They get to liaise with uh, either industry or academia or government or NGOs or national labs, wherever they want to go. Mm -hmm. Because that kind of raises the, the boat for, uh, uh, the, rate, the tide raises the boat for all of us uh, as we progress science, technology, engineering, and math education. And AICHE's efforts in that regard are really, really very important to Chevron. And uh, you mentioned the Chemi car competition in which students build chemical cars. And on, on the surface, the major benefit of that is obviously the technical expertise of the innovation and the entrepreneurship. But also what is very important, which is uh, in today's industry, uh, is teamwork, collaboration, learning to live within a budget, presenting your ideas to a group of uh, peers, uh, understanding what the gaps are between the desired state and the as-is state, developing an action plan. These are all skills that uh, both Scale Up and Chemi, uh, the Chemi Car Contest, provide young engineers, and that really do resonate uh, in the industry today. Okay, to sort of follow up on that, uh, a lot of these young professionals just entering the workforce are the audience for Connected, yes. and. We wondered what tips you might have. Uh, you mentioned some of technical skills, some of the softer skills. What are the ones that you think today's young professionals need to focus on to succeed in their careers? Well, you know, universities and colleges are doing a tremendous job of graduating highly skilled engineers. So that's almost a given that they will have the technical skills. Uh, interestingly, what we call soft skills are really hard skills. How do you collaborate? How do you take uh, differing views into account? Uh, you know, when we talk about data, we talk about volume, velocity. Now we, with social media, we have to talk about veracity or the truth of data, the variety of data. And data is actually useless unless you analyze it and create information. And information is useless unless you use information to create insights. And insights come through collaboration, through teamwork. So I would really encourage um, our young engineers today to use AICHE as a leadership laboratory, uh, either getting involved in the local sections, taking leadership positions in any of the committees, 
presenting papers, allowing them to flourish and learn the so-called softer skills of collaboration, of teamwork, of understanding another's viewpoint, of disagreeing without dis being disagreeable, all these things that we consider soft. Uh, that are really hard skills, but AICHE, through its local section, uh, through its topical seminars, you know, chemical process safety, uh, which is very important to Chevron, is something that every engineer, particularly in the process industry, is expected to know and understand and be fluent in. And the fact that we are having a global chemical process safety seminar here will really resonate with young engineers, improve their marketability, improve their skill sets and develop their leadership skills. Yeah, uh, AICHE has also in the last couple of years launched Process Safety Boot Camp, which yes. has been pretty uh, attractive to, to young professionals. But now moving on to one of the other hats you wear, uh, you're uh, now Vice President for Global Diversity, among other things, for, for Chevron. and. You know, diversity is is more than a buzzword, and it's a value a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know, think is, uh, you know, just for the greater good. Mm -hmm. uh, but some have said that it's also a very valuable tool for business. And I wondered if you could just sort of give us a uh, insight into Chevron's approach to diversity. Well, we believe that diverse viewpoints are extremely important. Diversity of thought, uh, gender diversity, global diversity, because generally speaking, heterogeneous teams do much better in performance, uh, whether it's results for business, whether it's finding the right technical solutions than homogeneous teams. So diversity is extremely important for business success. There's study after study that shows diversity, which is the mix, and inclusion, which is basically mobilization of every ounce of intelligence in your company, uh, basically creates engaged employees. And a company with engaged employees is 30% more productive, according to a study by MIT, than one where the employees are not engaged. So it's, it's, it's a business imperative, but there are reams and reams of data that, that uh, back it up. And in this case, you know, um, we are very interested in promoting science, technology, engineering, and math education, particularly among uh, disadvantaged minorities in the technical fields, mm -hmm. and also increasing the number of women uh, in engineering. I don't know the exact data on chemical engineering, but when I was a freshman in college, long, long, long time ago, uh, you know, my freshman class had about 4% women. When I graduated, it was about 16% women. But um, I would have thought at that trajectory you know, we would be at 40%, 50% women in engineering. But that thing is sort of asymptoted at about 16 to 20%, depending on the school. Whereas if you look at the number of women in veterinary medicine, medicine, dentistry, it's much higher. Mm -hmm. uh, veterinary med medical schools, some of them have 70% women. So, uh, you know, AICHE is actually creating a a forum through its women's initiative to study why that is and to improve those numbers. Uh, one is about role models. Another is about starting science, technology, engineering, and math education in the secondary schools, mm -hmm. outreach to students, getting more people attracted to engineering. You know, engineering, if you look at the data overall, is, uh, you know, somewhere between, particularly in graduate school, 30 to 40 percent uh, visibly diverse. But if you look at the number of Hispanics and African Americans that are in engineering schools, that number hasn't changed in a long time. Mm -hmm. And you know, in many states, like in California and Florida, uh, the Hispanic population will be the majority population by 2025. So it's very important to improve the number of Hispanics, African Americans, and other disadvantaged minorities, not only in engineering, but particularly in chemical engineering, so that we have a profession that is reflective of the demographics of this country and this world. So that's why the Women's Initiative and the initiative with the Minority Affairs Committee will really resonate with the work that we're doing. Well, that's, that's good, and I think, uh, I hope that, you know, their work continues and has results, and we thank you for taking a few minutes out of your schedule to sit down with us and talk to the connected audience. Thank you, Steve. My pleasure.